स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर फरमान दावर योर कोर्स इंस्ट्रक्टर फॉर फिशरीज टुडे आवर लेक्चर इज इन टाइटल्ड फिश कल्चर सिस्टम्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ फिश कल्चर दैट इंक्लूड्स द एक्सटेंसिव फिश कल्चर द इंटेंसिव फिश कल्चर द फिश फॉर्मिंग सप्लाइज that includes the feed and feeder the water filtration system the hatchery supplies along with this we will also study about the indoor fish farming the advantages to indoor fish farming and disadvantages to indoor fish farming after listening the lecture you will know about the culture systems in which the fish is artificially cultured the different condition conditions and the requirements for culturing the fishes you will also know about the indoor fish farming the advantages to indoor fish farming and disadvantages to indoor fish farming so fish culture system is basically divided into two main categories which is based on yield or the overall productivity the first one is extensive fish culture this type of culture yield uh, the fishes in low intensity the fish which is produced in the extent ex- extensive type of fish culture is low in intensity it is small increases over natural productivity it means that the fish which is cultured in extensive way is not far more than the natural productivity level therefore it has low stocking density it means that the stocking capacity in this type of culture system is low than the natural productivity level it do not use fish rearing units it means that this type of fish culture extensive fish culture do not use the man made rearing units which are artificially engineered for extensive fish culture and it also do not involve the artificial diet the second category of fish culture is intensive fish culture this type of fish culture yield for in excess of natural productivity levels it utilize high stocking rates and therefore it involve the man made rearing units and also need artificial diet it means that the fish uh, which is cultured in the intensive culture system or uh, or uh, yield far more than the natural productivity level compared to the extensive way of culturing the fish the intensive fish culture is further divided into four main categories the first one is the pond culture this is a system means pond culture is a system which is based on earthen ponds where some or all of the food consumed is from natural production here you can see the pond may be earthen or may be cemented which is artificial but overall the food which the fish inside the pond is getting is from the natural sources we can see here the grasses the shrubs and the plants 
it uh, contain many insect larvae through which the fishes which are culturing artificially in the pond is feeding here we can see the crop inside a cemented pond we can see the cemented decks of the pond but overall the food is from the natural sources another type of intensive fish culture is the raceway culture as the name show this system is based on circular or straight raceways which may be tanks with high water flow and minimal water reuse though the flow of the water in this system is high because the the fishes which uh, which are uh, which are cultured in this type of system is usually depend on the swimming and here we can see the raceways which is receiving the water and then the water flow is high by giving the high pressure artificially from this system and in another figure we can see the longitudinal uh, or the flow of water which is coming from higher concentration to lower concentration the third type of intensive fish culture is the cage culture is the name show this is this is a system in which fish are confined to net pens or cages placed which are placed in ponds river rivers lakes or ocean overall this is very simple means a cage inside a water body and this is called cage culture here we can see in the picture the cages inside the water body it is a top view of the cages we can see and in picture b we can see the cage inside the water body and the whole body view of the cage means this either may be made of uh, the wood or the cage may be made, made of uh, the net pens and which is inside uh, a water body which may be a sea or which may be a lake or which may be a river or pond the fourth type of intensive fish culture is the tank culture or the water reuse circulation circulation system the tank culture system where nearly 100% of the water is reused and cleansed by sophisticated filtration system this system involve all of the all of the uh, items or all of the things is artificial the tank which we can see uh, in in picture a is a series of tanks which are made up of cement or it can be made up of uh, plastic and here we can see the field the the tank is filled with a fish crop and the artificial system and the this this one uh, uh, tank is made up of bamboo bushes and bamboo woods but overall the the tank culture uh, is the water recirculation system means that the water from one tank is circulated uh, inside a tank or it may be and can be used for the fishes of another tank it means that all of the tanks are uh, adjusted in a series fish farming supplies these are all of 
the the requirement which is needing for culturing the fish artificially uh, which either be in the extensive culture or maybe for the intensive culture both of the artificial system need this supplies this include the feed and feeder the water filtration system the hatchery supplies the heating and cooling system the lightning the plumbing the predator control and the tanks all of this supply is needing artificially uh, when uh, when culturing the fish is artificially in either in extensive or in the intensive way the feed is we know that in the intensive fish culture we need the artificial diet or, or artificial feed so it is uh, synthetically and artificially it, it is uh, available in the markets and the feeder this is basically uh, uh, this is basically required to feed the fishes and to distribute the feed among the fishes in the cages, in cages or in raceways or in tanks. The water filtration system. This is basically a sophisticated system which filter the water and which filter the impurities from the tap water or from the riverine water. The hatchery supplies. These are these include all of the items or all of the things which is needing for the fishes from hatching their eggs up to fingerling stage. The heating and cooling system. This is uh, needing for the fish when there is uh, uh, required to maintain the a specific or an optimum temperature to the fishes which is cultured artificially. The lightning, this is also very necessary for the fishes in artificial system when because uh, the fish is needing 12 hour dark and 12 hour light system the plumbing the predator control and the tanks etc and also the water treatment products indoor fish farming alongside Culturing the fishes outdoor in different ponds, in lakes, in cages, in raceways, or in other systems, it is no possible to culture the fishes inside a building or inside a premise. Indoor, indoor fish farming is the alternate to cultivating fish outdoors. Is we have discussed earlier in our lecture that there are many ways in which we can culture the fishes artificially uh, outdoors to cultivating fish outdoors in a cage system without the emergence of advances in technological raising fish indoor is not possible causing proper control production methods so indoor culturing the fishes indoor is no possible indoor fish farming is often very sophisticated and in some cases allow for automatic collection and processing of fish waste into crop fertilizer this is so sophisticated limited and uh, perfect system which sometime automatically collect the fish the, the fish wests and which is then used to uh, to make crop fertilizers in industries the indoor fish farming is usually performed in advanced countries or in labs for limited purposes so this is uh, a new a new technology in which we are culturing the fishes uh, artificially indoor in inside a roof so this type of 
culture is not very common and is just uh, performed for and is used for a research and limited purposes in advanced countries there are some advantages to indoor fish farming over the outdoor fish farming the first advantage is that the fishes which are uh, produced inside a building or inside a roof will be protected from predators and weather changes the weather change will not affect or the climatic condition will not affect your fish crop and it will also be protected from predators or i mean from other fishes which are feeding on your fish so fish which are produced faster through temperature uh, water quality and feeding practices so culturing the fish secondly uh, indoor will grow faster because the the temperature the temperature you will provide will be optimum and the water quality will be the optimum all the physical chemical characteristics of the water will be maintained optimum as we discussed earlier that culturing the fish indoor is sophisticated and the water filtration uh, plant provide the quality of water which has optimum physical chemical characteristics and feeding practices and the artificial fee feed which are supplied to the fishes Uh, culturing indoor will also help the fish to produce faster than the fishes are uh, cultured in outdoor system this practice is more environment friendly as it uses less water and produces less waste as we know if a system produces less waste and contaminate the environment less is called environment friendly so culturing the fish indoor is more environment friendly than culturing the fish outdoor in cage pond raceway or other system and because it produces low waste so it is environment friendly culturing the fish is indoor inside a roof or inside a building or inside a confined body will avoid the, the the chance of fish escaping and getting lost among wild fish population your fish will not go if it is cultured uh, inside a confined body or inside a roof your fish will not go and you will not lost your fishes and it will not mix with wild population means your fishes will be highly protected in this hospital it will allow higher higher stock densities and often saved farm labor input costs since your fish will be in a controlled environment so its stocking density will be high and it will not uh, need labors and it will save your labor cost along with advantages there are some disadvantages to indoor fish farm as we discuss the advantages mm, uh, against those advantages it also has several disadvantages the first uh, disadvantage or drawback of culturing the fish indoor is the requirement of electricity input cost so when you are culturing uh, the fish is indoor in a in a building or inside a roof you have to provide the electricity power because whenever you are providing temperature and lightning or uh, um, 
or uh, the water filtering filtering uh, plants so you have to provide electricity to all of the uh, facilities it will require infrastructure this is also a very uh, a very main drawback or a big issue that whenever you are culturing the fish indoor in an indoor system so you have to provide uh, the infrastructure i mean a building setup which often requires a significant amount of stored up capital which will cost very high so uh, whenever culturing the fish is indoor it will cost a lot or uh, um, uh, uh, a significant amount of stored up capital fish raised indoors are carnivores mostly the fish is which the the aquaculturist or culturing are usually carnivorous fishes so for the carnivorous fishes for their feeding uh, the farmer has to provide a large amount of other fish for their diet so the the carnivorous fishes which are culturing in, in an indoor fish uh, fish farming uh, will need uh, many small fishes through which they will uh, they will feed so this is also a main drawback that along with culturing uh, and along with uh, uh, providing other facilities like temperature like electricity like uh, maintaining their ph and maintaining the physico chemical characteristics of water the farmer has to provide a large amount of small fishes and to capture a large amount of small fishes from the wild environment and provide to the fishes uh, in the indoor fish system so this is also will need cost a lot and will need labor and this is the main drawback of the indoor fish farming so these are some books from which the lecture was prepared and see you next time thank you very much